Actually, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah actually, no, it's when it comes sarcastically. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say the same. When when you when you, when you say like, yeah, you know, you really worked, you know. Yeah, yeah you yeah. screw something up real bad. Yeah. You just don't. You you're supposed really to excelled bring, yourself on this one. Yeah, you're supposed to bring a a, a piece of paper, and that's the only thing you got to do at your <laughs> yeah. job, and you forget <laughs> yes. to do that. And somebody that. will tell you Hastanavashi. <laughs> that is very sarcastic. <laughs> that's a good. What the beep of you? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Ask an Iranian. We are a resource for those that are curious about Iran and Iranians, and maybe feel that the conventional sources aren't necessarily representing the whole story. And of course, we are therefore a means for Iranians who are maybe frustrated by that and want to present their story. I am your host, David. I'm half Iranian and grew up outside of Iran, but live in the country now. And I'm here with my co-host, Mohammad. Hello, I'm Mohammad. I'm fully Iranian, and although I grew up here in Iran, I've had my head in many other cultures as well. So our aim is to get answers to your questions, either ourselves or by putting it to the Iranians in our audience. So let's get on with the show and get on with answering your questions. So Mohammad, Khastanabashid. Khastanabashid, merci. So what the hell are we talking about? Well, this is a question by Karen. Uh, Karen asks, why do Iranians think I'm tired all of the time? Well, thank you, Karen, for asking that question. It is a phrase that we say to each other to cheer each other up, kind of, or lift each other's spirits. Yes, this is this is one of the weirdest uh, things that took a bit of a, a bit of time for me to get used to uh, upon coming to Iran. Uh, it, almost in a sense, this is better than uh, when you, when you meet someone. Instead of even saying hello to them, you're going to use this uh, phrase, which translates uh, precisely as what, Mohammed? Supposedly, it is translated to "Don't be tired." So yes, chaste nabashid, chaste like tired, and nabashid don't be, uh, don't be tired. So recently, this has become a tricky thing for me somehow in the reverse. So now, when I travel outside of Iran, uh, say for example, I'm in London and I go to a bar, a pub, and I go to order a drink. It's it's really tricky for me now because I go up and I want to say. I want to begin the interaction with the person on the other side with as a means to be respectful, as a means to understand. Uh, I mean, in my head, it's like this. It's like, I've acknowledged that you're working. I acknowledge that you're about to serve me or help me in uh, some capacity. So I want to say, don't be tired. Um, but, also, to but, acknowledge, also to acknowledge that you're doing a good job. You've been doing a good job. Yeah, it's but it's... <laughs> in my head it just doesn't work I go, I, I say hello <laughs> like hey how's it going uh, but I, you know I have this strange pause and I, and I swear they notice uh, the people behind the bar a few years back we had this conversation with a friend uh, with a couple of friends actually we were talking about if there's only one phrase you need to learn in Persian that will pass you as an Iranian and not a foreigner what would it be so that would be this phrase Hasan Abashid. Exactly. It's, it's to our opinion. I yeah. think I think literally if you only ever learn two words or, or one, one thing to say in Iran that will get you everywhere. Open doors for you in, in many different places. <laughs> we'll get you uh, yeah, they're gonna love you. Well, uh, I wouldn't say that, but the thing is that at least you don't you can um, you give the uh, I mean, just imagine the scenario. You're walking on the street and you don't want to be passed as a as a foreigner and let's say you're um, blonde and you have blue eyes and you see someone staring at you, you just look at them in the eye with a smile and say, and you just pass. And you have that element of confusion because the, the guy's expecting you to be a foreigner and not know that phrase. And if you say that phrase, that is very Iranian. That is a very Iranian thing to do. And you just confuse them and pass by. So they won't really get to ask you questions. So where are you from, Mester? So Mohammed, what about uh, where people would not use chasta. I mean, is there, a, is there a, a time where it's not appropriate? Is there a time when not to use it? Mm, good question. Is there... Actually, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Actually, no, it's when it comes sarcastically. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say the same. When, when, you, when, you, when you say like, yeah, you know, you really worked, you know. Yeah, yeah you yeah, screw yeah. something up real bad. Yeah. You just don't. You, you're supposed really to bring... yourself on this one. 
<laughs> yeah, you're supposed to bring a, a a piece of paper, and that's the only thing you gotta do at your <laughs> yeah. job, and you forget <laughs> to do that. And somebody it. will tell you Hastanavishi. <laughs> that is very sarcastic. <laughs> like, <what> the, <laughs> that's a good. What one. the beep of you? <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. Oh, that that actually, I. Uh, <laughs> probably these days probably use it more in the sarcastic way than in the actual way if uh like you ask your wife how was your day and she says like i had a hard day that then probably you should think yeah and and, and, say you, it. and you should mean it like and you should be careful again. about the intonation yeah again. intonation like, if, like don't you've be never sarcastic. you've never been to work yeah yeah <laughs> don't be sarcastic so when you arrive in Iran, you get off the plane, you are going to be at the, at the passport control there, and you will be le- looking left. Khastan Abashi, looking right. Khastan Abashi, looking ahead. Any, any Iranian you see, Khastan Abashi. <laughs> just say, the guy, you give the guy your passport. Khastan Abashi, you're scoring points yeah. everywhere. If you're handing your passport to the officer, you might want to start with Saddam, then Khastan Abashi. Actually, you know what? Whenever I arrive, I always say Khastan Abashi, and only that. Oh, uh, okay. Salam is customary. Of course, yeah. But I, it, again, it's that acknowledgement of like, I, I see you working. Yeah. I see you working. I know you're working. Yeah, but it would be nice to say salam, khastan abashid. Yeah, that would be better. So salam, greetings, uh, khastan abashid. Again, you get in the taxi, khastan abashid. You get out of the taxi, khastan abashid. You go and order a ice cream one of these one meter long ice creams that's another podcast in the making there oh, the one meter ice cream do we why have do we, one meter ice cream why do we do that they call them that but they're not they're really, not really one meter yeah i think you could high. measure them at 40 centimeters which well, is still pretty high yeah anyway Hastan Abushid, thank you for your ice cream. <laughs> thank you for your <laughs> ice cream so it this is yeah this is every this is your this is your like card to get anywhere and everywhere so thank you, Karen, for your amazing question there. If you are Iranian and feel that we've explained the concept, the idea of Khastan Abashid badly, then do us all a favor. Get yourself to the comments section and start typing. Tell us how we did it wrong. If uh, you have any further questions about the term Khastan Abashid, don't be tired, then uh, ask away. Go to the comments section, as always, and type in your question, and we will do our best to try and answer it. So, Khastan Abashid. Khastan Abashid, Mohammed. Uh, we, of course, don't claim to speak for all Iranians, so your input is much welcomed. If you have any questions that we can put to an Iranian, uh, you could go on Twitter and ask us, reply to any of our posts, or uh, simply email us at questions at askaniranian.com. Do join us on the next episode where we'll be finding answers to more of your questions for Iranians. Thank you for joining us. Das besagt